Talk about our weather tonight. We're dropping into the 30s. Colleen Peterson is tracking the uh, low temperatures. The Colleen, you know, for the past uh, several weeks, of course, we would say that and those 30s would be with us for quite a while, but <laughs> not anymore. This is changing nearly every 24 hours. Nope. Tomorrow's March 1st and it's going to start to feel like the spring season. We're going to have a batch of temperatures here over the next few weeks. We are tracking some showers. That south wind is going to bring in some of those warmer temperatures over the weekend, but first we will have some less Light rain throughout the day tomorrow, so it will pick up throughout the morning, pretty scattered throughout the afternoon. Right now on the radar, we're not seeing any rain just yet. In fact, it's not going to be until tomorrow morning where we will start to see the first of the showers. First in Hardinsburg, Breckenridge County, down to Munfordville, seeing some light rain around nine o'clock. The difference from the early evening to right now is that timing did slow down a little bit, so bus stop looks mostly dry as of now. By the time you head towards the late morning, that's when that rain will start to enter. By time 10 o'clock. That's when it will be over the Metro Shepherdsville and down to Bardstown. As we head towards the afternoon, a few scattered lingering sprinkles out there, but overall it's going to be a hit or miss if you happen to see any rain by the time you head towards the afternoon hours. Temperatures will be starting out in the 30s, but then we'll be staying in the mid 40s because of those clouds and rain keeping our temperatures a little bit cooler out there. So not going to see the sunshine tomorrow, but then once we head towards Saturday morning after those sprinkles finally clear out, we'll see those clouds stick around temperatures in the 40s and then by the time we head towards Saturday late afternoon by 5 6 p.m. The forecast shows those clouds breaking. Now that may change, but as of now, we are seeing mostly cloudy the first half of Saturday, and then the second half, we'll start to see partly cloudy skies right before sunset. But however, that does not change the temperatures. We will still have that south wind still being able to get into the low 60s by the afternoon. Sunday morning, those clouds will build yet again, lows in the 40s, and then into the afternoon, we will actually jump into the low 70s. We have a high of 72 degrees this upcoming Sunday, so definitely above average temperatures for this time of year. Staying dry Saturday and Sunday. So with that rain tomorrow, we could pick up maybe a tenth of an inch. This is going to be very light sprinkles in that forecast tomorrow. So a tenth of an inch overall across town in some spots. Not going to be too much of measurable rain for this system and no thunderstorms, which is great. So we have some dark skies right now. Those clouds continuing to build right now. Temperature of 28 in Scottsburg, 38 here in Louisville. So we just got out of the 40s here in downtown. Your lows tonight will be hovering in the upper 20s and low 30s. So it is still going to be chilly cold rain in that forecast. So uh, under the raincoat, you're definitely going to need that sweater tomorrow morning. So overall tomorrow, light rain in that forecast, mainly throughout the morning and midday where we'll see the bulk of the rain. And then as we head towards the afternoon, we'll start to see some scattered light sprinkles linger throughout your Friday. So gloomy into our week, but at least this weekend looks partly cloudy, both Saturday and Sunday temperatures getting right back to the seventies. Let's talk about next week real quick. We have a high of 75 on Monday. It looks like an unsettled weather pattern. We are going to have off and on scattered showers of front passing through on Tuesday, but we'll still have some lingering rain behind it and it's not really going to cool down our temperatures all that much. Our average high is 52 and besides tomorrow we'll be hovering above average by around 10 degrees. Doug.